A group of parents and residents are calling on the city to pause a construction project in South Street Seaport. The development is set to be built on the site that some worry sits on top of toxins that could put people at risk. CBS 2's Natalie Dudrich has the story. Parents are sounding the alarm about the health and safety of their kids who attend Pexlip School. Inches away from where our kids play, there were ele elevated levels of uh, mercury vapor. In the 1900s, this parking lot next to the school was home to a chemical and glue company and a thermometer factory. The Howard Hughes Corporation owns the lot and plans to dig it up and build a massive condo building starting this January. They have to provide uh, a summary of what the findings are in the soil samples. And they found PCBs, they found other volatile organic compounds, mercury, lead. A very personal issue for me. Elaine Kennedy lives next door and says it's extremely troubling for tenants who were told it was safe to breathe the air in Lower Manhattan after 9-11. We are highly, highly suspicious of government agencies telling us it's safe. Last month at a virtual community board meeting, an engineering consultant hired by the developer downplayed concerns. When we performed the remedial investigation, we did not identify mercury vapor on the site. But a professor of environmental health at NYU responded with this letter saying, there are dozens of chemicals including irritants, neurotoxins, renal toxicants, and carcinogens. Experts say the asphalt surface on the parking lot has to some extent kept the contaminants in place. The concern is once digging begins, toxins could be released into the air. City controller and parent of a former student, Scott Stringer, says he's not against the new building, but wants it to be done slowly and carefully. The mayor should shut this down. The governor should intervene. Parents say the project is especially irresponsible during COVID. Now the school's required to keep all the windows open for fresh air circulation for our unvaccinated children. It's simply not safe. Parents say all they want is transparency for the project. At the South Street Seaport, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Well, the Howard Hughes Development Corporation sent a statement late today claiming there's broad support for transforming the parking lot into a development that includes more than 80 deeply affordable apartments, along with critical funding for the beloved South Street Seaport Museum, all while working with government agencies to ensure public safety, the statement said.